Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a little bit since I've done this, but uh, let's get into it. Oh, money. I like money. So, I um, actually have a few tips that I should probably... Uh, Um, should probably watch the tea. I, like, I got some tips from a viewer because I have actually no clue about how to... Uh, play the game at all. Because I'm new to this, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh. Cool. Parsnip. Um. So... <laughs> I learned sort of the hard way, or I guess not the hard way. I am really distracted right now. I'm trying to read all this stuff, and I'm like also trying to like get ahead of myself here. But um, I learned I uh, in the comments I was told to watch out for worms because apparently um I need to get rid of those with a hoe if I see them to make sure that I. Don't lose my crops. I also learned that, um, uh oh, these are solid. No, corner, corner. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Alright, cool. So I, I have a little tip here to watch out for, um, for worms, because apparently they might show up from time to time and uh, cause havoc on my crops. So, yeah. Been poking around inside the old community center. Oh, yes, it's the wizard. Okay. So, I've actually been wanting to visit the wizard. And we went down there a little bit ago. But, um, you know, he didn't quite accept that. And had his door locked because he's in, he's a mean guy apparently. So let's go meet him. So, anyways, um, as I was saying, I had my uh, first day of uh, university today, or well, technically speaking, I had my first two days, my first cycle, I guess. And boy, was it uh, something. So first things first. Um, Oh boy, where do I even start? My, um, I have a night class that goes from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the professor is this, like, old British guy who, here, I'm going to pause the story real fast and talk to the wizard. da 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 do Wizard. I am like a total mess right now. Hey, don't hurt him. Hey, are, are you hurting him?
We're happy to aid you in every turn. We're happy to help you if you are a horse. All right. Okay. So um. There you go. They mean you. Ah, uh, dude. Ugh, dude, no, 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 no. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. Okay. What did you put in that suit, man? Dude, I am tripping. All right. Okay, that um that happened. Apparently I have forest magic now. So uh, Oh, the yeah, the viewer also gave me the tip to uh, check out the mine, which I haven't done yet, so I probably should do that. And also, continuing on with my story. Continuing on with my story here. <laughs> um, I've got like a huge headache right now, so I'm like, I should probably do something about it. But, um... So the, he's a British professor, you know, he, he says it's down. We're talking about our introduction to philosophy. Everything's going all right. Um, he's got that really weird British humor about him where it's like sarcastic, but, you know, it, it, you, know you really only understand that it's, you know, his form of humor if you kind of like, you know, are used to it. So he... um. It's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's pretty regular. He's, uh, just sort of talking about his own thing, dude, going through this, like, weird, quirky British humor. He's teaching the class, um, and it's philosophy, so he, he keeps asking these weird questions without saying what he's trying to do, so everyone in the class is looking at him like he's crazy, not realizing he's, like, actually, you know, oh, poor, poor doctor. So he, he's asking these weird, like, like philosophical questions and really, like, throwing the class in for a loop here. And I'm trying to, like, you know, at least keep things kind of fun by being the opposition that he's looking for when he's asking a question. So that way we can keep the conversation going. And everything's going good. And then it comes down to taking lecture notes And he decides he he decided that the best way for for us to do I'm gonna go down there in a little bit. I want to finish the story first. He decides the best way for us to learn philosophy is to watch clips from the Big Bang Theory. I'm not kidding. We watched, like, I think almost nine clips from the show. And the entire time, the professor was laughing hysterically. And I was kind of given this, like, little odd, kind of weird, shy chuckle. And everyone else was just sort of like, what? And 
the first one was a scene where Sheldon manipulates a colleague, Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. He, he manipulates Leonard, who has this girlfriend, Les, Leslie, at the time. And they're talking about um, which um, model of quantum mechanics is better, whether it be string theory or something else. And um, Sheldon uses the fact that he knows that Leonard likes string theory and, you know, this Lee likes something else to um, uh, basically break them up. And then there's the philosophy of whether or not that was like the right thing. It was, it was just weird. And the next one was when Sheldon starts using Pavlov's um, and a few other, um, you know, sort of scientists and, you know, behavioralists and whatever to train Leonard's girlfriend, Penny, to have good behavior around Sheldon by rewarding him with chocolate. He was asking, like, whether or not this is, like, free will. And it was like, just, it felt like he was trying to shoe it, shoehorn in Big Bang Theory clips into the class and have us take notes on them. And then they watched a few others. I don't know how they revolved around philosophy. One of them was the Bitcoin scene where they talk about how uh, Sheldon, like, you know, Leonard and his um, gaggle of nerds mined Bitcoin, but Sheldon wasn't involved in it because of this, this, and that. And then there was another one about unions. And I don't remember all of them, really. Um, most of them were dealing with Sheldon's strange behavior. Okay, let's read this, this scroll. Oh, they're spells. Okay. Bridge repair. Okay. So, we're in spring. So... All right, so we need a leek, a dandelion, a daffodil, and a wild horseradish. From what I can tell. So let's go. I don't know. I, I just wanted to share that because it, it was just such a weird thing. Like, just watching the Big Bang Theory in... Okay, cool. In class like that. Like, I've never had something like that happen ever and it was just so bizarre and unorthodox and uncomfortable for that matter that I just I just had to share it and it was, it was the last thing that I really expected and this class drug on for only two and a half hours not for the full three hours thankfully but holy crap I um I just, I mean, it, it was just strange. I mean, I'm not complaining because I actually like, you know, I get where he what he was trying to do with the lessons plans, and I like under, I'm gonna go in the mining later on this episode. I don't, know. I'm gonna stop talking about this, but I get what he was trying to do, and I get that he was trying to like really philosophy to a group of engineering students and trying to like help us learn. And I respect the fact that he took into account that we were engineering students. He wanted to make sure that we were, um, you know, understanding philosophy from his standpoint by using a show that's actually a joke representation of people with engineering degrees, but whatever, it doesn't matter. There's emo goth kid. I don't know, I... Yes, yes it is. See, do you remember my name? No. Well, hopefully you do. You need to remember my name. And it's almost nighttime already. Wow, that wizard really took up a lot of my time. Yes. Yes, I do. I would rather go kill things with a sword, though, but... Actually, no, that's not true. I'm really enjoying the chill vibes this game has. Like, I wasn't actually expecting it, but I'm really having a pretty good time in a farming simulator. 
And to anyone who, like, you know, actually knows me would know that these games usually aren't my kind of games. But I am having a lot of fun. I don't know. I'm in a really weird mood right now. Today was... So that was... All that happened yesterday. Monday. Tuesday the day I'm recording this, which you'll be watching this Thursday. Oh, that's a weird thought. That's always a weird thought. Um, who are you? Have I met you before? Yes, I have. Yeah, I feel you on that one. No kidding. Um, but, uh, oh shoot. I need that right there. Okay. And, Still a few other objects that I need to collect. I don't remember one of them's horseradish, but I don't remember the, the, the other one, though. I'll have to go back there and check. I don't know. Today has just been, or these past couple days have been just weird. Um, the whole philosophy thing was just super weird because I'm just not used to a professor teaching like that. And I guess it really caught me off guard. And also the Big Bang Theory is just sort of its own, like, sort of meme on its own with it being how it is so um, I am looking for my philosophy class though god that's so annoying oh more blossoms so I'm totally looking for my philosophy class. I have like no, nothing against uh, the teacher. It's just more of the Big Bang Theory really caught me off guard when he mentioned that was going to be part of the lesson plan. But then we have today. So today I woke up and uh, I didn't have to do a little work today because it's university starting up. I don't have to really worry about it on Tuesdays, thankfully. So I get like the morning to myself. Woke up late. It was uh, 9 o'clock. Class was in... Um, an hour and 30 minutes. So, uh, you know, so be it. So hop in the shower, everything's good, and get out, and it's snowing. I live 20 miles away from campus, and the snow has already fallen to the point where roads will no longer have traction. And this is fresh snow, so there's no plowing or anything like that. So I had to then drive to campus in some of one of, in some of, like, just, like, this was, like, the early snow, where there, there's, like, um, I'm trying to think of, like, a good way to, uh, to explain, like, the condition, of, like, you know, it wasn't terrible, but it was enough to throw drivers off, and to make them make really poor decisions. For an example, there was this poor lady at this really busy intersection who decided it was a wise idea to take a sharp left turn to make the the green light, to make a sharp left turn, and slid, did a th 270 in the intersection, and heck and ended up just like stopping in the middle of the road and like and everyone had to like wait and we went through multiple light cycles until she finally got out of the way and people of course were trying to shimmy their way through the intersection causing more problems more havoc more issues and ugh. so instead of it taking her you know 30 seconds to adjust herself it took her four minutes because she had to wait for people to pass by in order for her to be able to back up and get out of the way properly and while it was a dumb mistake of her to do that, at the same time, y'all need to, you know, heck and give her some space so she can get out of the road so other people can get their destination. It uh, just really grinded my gears right there. That uh, people were just uh, really obnoxious and rude and not very uh, considerate to the mistakes other people may have made. No one got hurt, thankfully. But it was just unfortunate. Wait, are you an adult or a child? I can't tell.
That was a waste of water. <sighs> so, yeah, I've basically just been ranting this entire episode, but, um... All right. Okay, so now we need to go find... Um... Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, radishes and leeks. So, let's go find some. Can I eat the dandelion? Yes, or daffodil. Oh, yummy. Y yummy. That's so, so good. Mmm. I like that. Birds. That's to the beach. We don't want to go to the beach. We want to find some stuff. Is horseradish an ASMR trigger? Horseradish. Horseradish. Hi. Um, come on, come on, give me something. No horseradishes. I don't really know where to find them. I know I've seen them a couple times, and they're up there. I know I've picked almost all of them and ate them because I'm an idiot. But, uh, you know what? Now I know. The more you know. Horseradish. 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 Is that doing you the tingles? Horseradish. Horseradish. <laughs> ah, small child. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make some mess you up. Uh, so we have the wizard over there. I wonder if I can just buy them and call it good. Maybe I'll need to grow them. Uh, let's sigh. Although what I could do is cut down a bunch of this stuff here and get some random seeds and then plant them. My apologies, they're called mixed seeds. <sighs> What's behind there? You ever just get a feeling that there's something hiding? Oh, so there was. Interesting. Very interesting.
Got some stuff I want to clear first before I actually go check that out. Oh boy. All right. We've got 900 days to prepare for Grandpa. Is anything in here? Oh, we're ready to grow mushrooms in here or something like that, probably. Uh, so we got three years to prepare for Grandpa. And I just had to mute a bunch of audio right there. So, for reasons. This episode is a train wreck. I am having a very rough time um, adjusting and getting back to the whole ASMR thing after these last couple classes. So I want to do apolog I want to apologize real fast for not providing the most tangly experience possible. Um, but hopefully this video is at least entertaining to keep your attention. So my apologies, and I'm gonna see that in the analytics. But it doesn't really matter too much because Stardew Valley is more of a, from what I can tell, uh, people just kind of click through scan through to see what my progress is, and then click off the video. So, from what I can tell anyways, just by the analytics and whatnot, so. Boy, what is going on? Well, I can't find any horseradish. That's great. Despite my incessant wandering and searching for one, none are appearing before me. How dare they? How dare they hide from me? Or is like solid words with a triggering or is that just annoying because of how much bass is behind it uh, I don't know I might have to decrease the volume on those ones we'll have to find out okay we have one more to find uh, oh, I never finished my story about today, apparently. So anyways, today, as I was going through, going through the snow driving, seeing idiots driving people drifting lanes, people going way over the speed limit and sliding around and not realizing it, and I'm surprised no one that I saw crashed, and there was probably a ton of crashes that I didn't see, but, you know, just a bunch of idiots driving around and whatnot, tailgating in snowy conditions, Speeding, trying to pass people, um, doing quick lane changes when there's a patch of ice going down, um, splitting the lanes, which if you don't know, for those of you who don't drive yet, a lane change over a pass of, over like a patch of ice is one of the dumbest things you can do. I'm sure my viewers from areas that actually receive more snow than us can confirm that. Like, if you do a fast lane change over one of those, like, solid lines of ice, you're going to be in a world of hurt if you don't have all-wheel drive. And that's just how it is. You have to take your time. Make sure you at least have three tires on solid pavement at all times. Just to make sure that you're not going. And the worst thing is when you um, go over with one of your drive wheels. So, for example, my car is rear-wheel drive. So when I go over, I make sure that I put my, you know, when I'm going over slowly, I actually take my foot off the gas temporarily when lane changing just to make sure that I'm not going to be free spinning. And at this point, my car is just rolling. So 
So it's definitely one of the smarter things to do if you're, I am not even close to being home. Where am I? I'm at that one place. So I don't know. I, I have, I have, there's nothing like, I don't have a problem with driving on the snow. I actually prefer the snow just because it's fun. Uh, to find, like, an empty parking lot, uh, turn traction control off, and, um, you know, play with the handy-dandy e-brake. But, um, that's just me and probably a couple other people. Uh, some people, uh, don't realize how dangerous snowy conditions are and will endanger the lives of everyone around them by not maintaining a safe speed and cause problems. Well, there you go. That's my lecture for the day. And whatnot. I think that's a good, good stopping place right there. Let's uh, let's go get a screenshot real fast. So fantastic! Shoot, I didn't get a screenshot. We're just gonna run. We're not gonna save any of this progress from here out. So you can click off if you want. So. I'm just going to go and do a quick little scurry down to the community center and get myself a screenshot. But in the meantime, I wanted to give a special thanks to all of you for tuning in this far and dealing with my incessant and babbling rambles. Because, uh, wow, wasn't that quite something. So, thank you all very much for sticking through this here. I really appreciate it. There we go. I had to chase the birds. The birds are fun to chase. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. And I hope that you um, at least found this a like you know entertaining and maybe possibly relaxing. Who knows? Um, I'm really sorry that this episode wasn't up to par. It, it's been a long two days. So anyways, thank you all. I'll try to make sure that stuff like this doesn't happen in the future. But... Until then, thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.